Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Dark Souls 3 for the PC, of course, and we're in part 44 of our series. Hooray! We're here in the Smoldering Lake. We're on, like, the third part of this area. Very, very big. I don't know how many parts this is going to be. It's going to be quite a big place, so it looks almost like the Catacombs of Carthus just revamped. Um, but definitely a lot harder. Without further ado, let's do this. Got some, uh, stone frogs out here. I hear them. We just killed a bunch. Make sure we watch our debuff. jump at me. They have a delayed uh, death noise. Oh, that's one of them I need. So we need, uh, I think, two more to upgrade our swords. goes that way. Let's see what we got over here. Alright, cool. So, that was the secret door with the chest and the staff down. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, there was a staff uh, on the ledge there. So we're doing good there. I think we can safely keep going. He's just hanging out. Their aggro is not very high. It's got some weird like barnacles on the wall. that way or what's up here a bridge oh a guarded bridge I think that's another black knight well, let's see if we don't die oh actually <laughs> let's get a head start on him Oh my god. Freaking ultra great swords, I swear to god. <laughs> we killed him though. Oh that prick. Oh that prick. We are way the hell back here. Alright, let me slowly make my way instead of making you guys suffer through it since we've already been here. Oh my god, we made it so far. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video. Okay guys, I collected my souls. And we did kill him, but whatever item he dropped... Oh, wait. I guess he's uh, still here. Let's see if we can do this without dying. Hold on, gulp. Oh my 
god. Oh, man, this Black Knight is starting to really get to me. Because it's a long trek over. Alright, I'm going to pause it again. Okay, guys, I grabbed my souls. Um, before we go back to him, I think this is a dead end. Oh my god. And there's a really big dude. get his move set down. Ooh. So that's cool. You actually get a um, probably the best Ultra Grey Sword in the game right there. I'm gonna just assume. And we get a ring. Very cool. We had to burn a lot of Estus. Alright, let's go back and see what else is down there. That's pretty sweet. Now, the other Black Knight we killed respawn so I think anytime you want to come down here you do have to kill him um cause I said yeah there are items in here and I don't know how hard or easy they are to get um I haven't tested out the run through fire cause there's two rooms there's that other room which I don't believe this is that same room so it looks like we got two items here to get so we gotta remember that and I'll definitely do that um I think there's a fire resistant item I can pop but I don't have any. So now we gotta kill that other Black Knight. They just have a lot of health, and I don't have the damage in output to really uh, quickly make work of them. So at least we know kind of what's going on around here. Wait a minute. Went the wrong way. Had a moment. <laughs> that guy at least it's a little more easy to dodge him this guy i'm just not used to these black knights Let's see if we can pick anything off here Let's see if we can de-aggro him and get him with another arrow oh no we cannot <laughs> gonna keep coming I think yep once you piss him off all right let's take him on the stairs Jack. Nope, no item. But at least we got him. That's all that matters. It's all about that timing. The roll timing. Now that ring that I had, it increased the roll and vulnerability, so it probably would make where their hits aren't, most of them aren't going to connect, but my defense is going to be lower to a point where I'll be just murdered. At least that's how it felt, you know? Those of you that do use that ring where it gives you invulnerability, 
um, when rolling the invincibility. Let me know how that works out for you. I might watch some videos on it just to see what other people felt like. Alright, so it looks like we're finally in a place. We've gone through the entire catacombs, I believe. Not catacombs. <laughs> it reminds me of it. Um, the uh, Smoldering Lake. The lower levels. The bowels. Holy crap. That's quite the climb. Might as well drink. what I should use. I don't even use it. turning that thing off. Come on, guys. Seriously. There we go. Clickety clack, motherfucker. <laughs> Clickety clack. Oh, yeah, there's a base. Cool. That's where we started. Take our last flask. Hope we don't need it. Make sure one of them don't come back to life. Nope, think we're good. Some skellies guarding. Oh boy, I think these are the big boys. Scales. Oh, I must have got another Estus from killing one of them. Luck does that sometimes. It just gives you an extra charge, which is nice. 
think this is that. Oh, that is it. Look at that sucker. Let's see how much more guarded it is. I think we're good. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I think we are going to end it right here since we just turned it off. We're 15 and a half minutes in. We'll continue on. We'll hopefully finish up this area um, down below. And then um, I will try to um, get those two areas in the lava and see see if getting those items is even doable. We'll probably die a lot, but uh, at least see if it's doable. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time and very, very soon and many more to come. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. Until then, guys, as always, later.